Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Hey, it's officially December and summer is taking full effect across the country. You can feel it everywhere you go, which means that the holiday season is here. Now, the chances of meeting someone interesting while we're on holiday have they've totally increased around this time of the year. And the thing is, you know, a lot of people would do and would love the idea of having a little fun with a summer fling. And that's why we're asking this morning, have you ever had a summer fling? The relationship architect Shelley Lewin is in the building to help us discuss this hot topic. And we'd love to hear your questions and your comments. So go onto our Facebook page, drop a comment on this post, and we'll engage with you live. Shelley, what a topic, but also perfect timing. Yes. Oh, summer flings. First question, have you ever had one? Oh! <laughs> didn't see that one coming. Okay, I won't ask that question. <laughs> but, <laughs> what is it about summer and the holiday season and just being on holiday that makes people, you know, feel free or perhaps pursue the idea of a summer fling? Um, well, you know... I think that, first of all, summer brings with it the energy <laughs> of expansion and growth. Mm -hmm. And then you add that to holidays, which is all about relaxation and taking your foot off the accelerator. Yeah. And you have all this freedom and liberation because your time is your own, you're not, you know, you're, you're not meeting deadlines. Mm -hmm. So all of those conditions are absolutely perfect to do something for, for new adventures, new yeah. possibilities, yeah. new experiences. Yes, yeah. and I suppose that's what the holiday season is about. It just opens people's minds and hearts up to that sort of possibility. But the word exactly. fling, you know, it's got an energy to it. It sounds very flirty and playful. Why do flings, for those who've had them, um, feel so good? And what do they do to the body and the brain? Well, when we fall in love or in lust with someone, mm. your brain actually gets flooded with neurochemicals mm. called dopamine and oxytocin. And they actually are associated with the pleasure and reward center in your brain. Mm. So it's a little bit like the rush that you would feel. You have this high, this rush, similar apparently to when you take drugs. And so what happens is, is you have this rush mm. and you experience this sense of trust and calm and security. And your body goes into this state of um, de-stress. Yeah. You actually don't feel pain when you have this flooding that happens in your brain. Mm. So your body, you have this mood of calm yeah. and, you know, you're totally chilled and relaxed. So it is very enticing, that yeah. feeling. People become addicted to they that like feeling. That. Yeah. I mean, you say enticing and that's true. But why do people feel so enticed over and above, you know, how their bodies and their brains may feel as a result? Why would, after a long year, uh, why would it be just so enticing to just want to kick back and get into something like well, that? Well, I think that often what happens is that um, by the time the holidays come, you're looking for a new experience. Mm. And um, I think that many people, when they go on holiday, they like to reinvent themselves. They become mm. the person that they wish they were. Yeah. And actually, it's, an, it's almost like a chance to have a whole other uh, avatar, and other experience of another life. Yeah. So you get to, to, to experiment and to play and try yeah. different things. So I imagine that that would be probably one of the reasons. This is such a hugely interesting topic. But the thing is, a lot of people do find themselves where they haven't got the distraction of family or work, where they actually do step into a summer fling. But of course, summer flings are exclusive to people who aren't Single. Ready in exactly. relationships. Let's just be, Let's clear, about just that. be clear about it. Don't <laughs> you go out on a holiday now and then say Shelly and Tavisa exactly. and Expresso said, go out and have flings. But it's a hot topic. We want to hear from you. Any of your questions, get them through to us. Summer flings. What do you think of them? We'll discuss a little bit later on. Uh, just looking at how flings can turn into a bit of seriousness. And if you find yourself in a place where what was meant to be a fling develops into something else. We'll chat about that a little bit later on. It's my feel good
Uh, welcome back to it. Your favorite uh, breakfast show to wake up to, your feel-good mm. breakfast show, Express or Morning Show on SABC3. It's Monday, so we're talking relationships. Today, the relationship architect, Shelley Lewin, is in the house, on the hot seat, to help us discuss and unpack the ins and outs of summer flings and holiday romances. And we'd love to hear your questions and comments. So on our Facebook page, Express or Morning Show, do drop some of those. We'll engage with you live on air. In fact, we've received some. Mm. Uh, we've got one from Dion Kamohelo Malepe, who says, Morning, Espresso, lol. What an amazing topic, and it always starts with a lol. What an amazing <laughs> topic. The stage I'm at now, I find summer flings quite fascinating. It works well for people like me who are still trying to find themselves and to live a little, as long as you can bump into, bump into it in the name of fun and without yes. catching feelings. However, it turns out it won't hurt. It's a topic to discuss, indeed. That's one. Uh, Humphrey Tutekana says, uh, "What you do." What you do if it's meant to be a summer fling, but then you end up catching feelings? That's mm. a question. What do you do? Mm. Catherine Dladla says, uh, what are the signals that it's not a fling anymore, that it's changed, it's elevated to something else? How would you know how far it's gone and if it's gone far indeed? So, I mean, these are some really important questions yeah, to ask about yeah. some things, Shelley. So where would you like to start? Let's start <laughs> where, how do you know if it's no longer a fling? Mm. Okay, so, well, you know, that's quite tricky because um, you have all these um, neurochemicals, which mm. we spoke about earlier, so, it, it, so you're already feeling very connected and yeah. excited mm. by the person. Yeah. So I would say what you want to do is to figure out that you want to start talking about home, back home and life, real life, yeah. mm. and see whether that person expresses an interest in that. Mm. So, you know, are they interested in who the real version of you is mm. and not the holiday version of you? Mm. And and then if you want to, um, to try and arrange to meet them, first, you also want to double check them on social media that who they say they are the person that you're meeting. Yeah. So as many different platforms as possible yeah. mm. is a good way to evaluate whether the person is who they say they are. Yeah. And if that all checks out, then yeah. you can see do they have eagerness and enthusiasm to meet you back home? Yeah. And, and if there's urgency for them and they're keen and they want to meet you, then maybe make a plan, but be mm. cautious as you would with any stranger, you know, in, in a public area, setting. in yeah. a, any other setting. Mm. And, and then when you do meet the person, you've got to then start to figure out whether there's a compatibility. Mm. So, you know, whether the, you meet the person on the bus, on the beach, on holiday, wherever it is, mm. there's yeah. a process to figuring out whether this person is a good match for me. Yeah. Are we aligned? And I would say that you do that through having conversations, spending quality time together, getting to know the yeah. person in real life. Yeah. And, and their, um, you know, compatibility is yeah. really about, am I going to be a good fit for you? Yeah. Based on your on what excites you, how you spend your time, who yeah. the people are in your life, how you spend your money, yeah. how you use your energy, all of those. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I was listening in the conversation earlier on, so I decided to join, because okay. I'm single and ready to mingle. Okay. Um, I just want to know the T's and C's of some of things. Like, <laughs> wait, like, why is it a, a good idea not to prolong the romance? Mm. Well, you know, the premise of, if you think of the summer fling, it tells you it's, it's temporary, mm. it's recreational, mm. it's casual. Mm. Mm. So if you go into it, with a long-term mindset, like yeah. a committed mindset, mm. someone's going to be disappointed, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I think that as long as you're, uh, you have two people with very different expectations, and for many people, the expectation of holiday romance is mm. that it's going to be casual. Mm. So it, it, you've got to be careful that you don't assume that even if you, you're feeling these overwhelming feelings that mm. the other person isn't, and you can still have overwhelming feelings and it be casual. It's just yeah. intense and yeah. short term. Yeah. And it's about making sure that those kind of conversations are sort of clear for From everyone the and yeah. they yeah. understand yeah. this exactly. without going all heavy and hectic on yeah. it. At yes, the same I would time. be very wary if someone starts to do um, um, oversharing, like yeah. declarations of love, and you've yeah. known mm. them, then I would say you're stepping into dangerous territory. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so of course, um, you have to be safe. We have to keep safe all the time. So, exactly. for example, it's become quite common for tourists to fall prey to scams of people exactly. acting or presenting exactly. themselves as people to have a They family. have shows about that, you they, know. There's actual shows. Yeah, yeah. So you what really... must people look at? So, you, I would say that, that the, the whole idea is that people are targeted 
to be um, they're primed and seduced and romanced and then suddenly I love you and I can't live without you and I've never mm. felt this way about anybody before mm. and you're so special and <laughs> and people that want to feel that yeah. Yeah. they want to believe in the Hollywood story and that love at first sight mm. and so so then they get lured in and slowly they yeah. get lured into sharing their personal private information um, possibly um, handing money over Ooh. for something or, you know, I mean, mm. the moment that, uh, and, and I love you so much, but my mother, I can't visit you because my mother's sick and dying. If you yeah. would help me get to you Ooh, and give yes. me the money. So, so I would say you've really got to be cautious in that way because there really are a lot of unethical people yes. who make a living out of Targeting I was and say scamming, scamming. Mm. Yeah, That's scamming basic. tourists. Yeah, this is what, on holiday, what people uh, on sc scammed by romance. Yes. yes, scammed by the idea of romance. This is such a fantastic conversation. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shelley. I mean, we could go on and on about it, but of course, we know that the holiday season is the perfect time to kick back and relax. If you are single and you really do want to feel the feel good that does come sometimes with these summer flings, go out there and explore it. And of course, uh, you have to be safe at all yes. times. Protect your mind, but yes. protect yeah. the physical as well yeah. yes, uh, and it's something a message that Shelly is always advocating for safety no matter what some loving had me a blast, blast. <laughs>